Hello friends, today we will discuss ballast less track. The technical concept of a railway track consisting of ballast, sleeper and rail is very old and has stood the test of time. This system is simple and can be rapidly extended, renewed or dismantled. The general problem faced by the engineers with ballasted track is that the ballast is a yielding material and causes unevenness in the track. It gets crushed under the load and resulting fine particles or dust particles clog the ballast. Therefore, regular maintenance is needed to keep the track in good condition. Experience in different countries indicates that the ballasted track is suitable for a speed up to 250 km per hour, but for high speed rail, presence of stone ballast creates several problems. Moreover, the demand on the track system have changed greatly since the start of railway. This applies not only to parameters such as axle load and speed, but also less obvious factors such as train length and frequency. Ballast was originally chosen as a basis for railway infrastructure due to its ready availability and good maintenance options, but the service life is very limited. In fact, it is currently the ballast which limits the service life of the complete system. The replacement of the complete system was previously influenced by the wear on sleepers and rails, but now it is the ballast which determines the service life of the complete system. Advantage of ballasted tracks are many. It requires low investment cost. Initial cost of construction is low. Then ballast track is usually easy to lay and third is it has good drainage performance or drainage properties because of high wires in the ballast. But there are several disadvantages also of ballastic track. Trains run on ballastic track with banged sound and low speed and that creates discomfort to passengers. This is easy to be deformed because of yielding property of the ballast and therefore ballast bed requires frequent and costly maintenance. Train speed is limited on this type of track and ballasted track has poor life expectation around 15 to 20 years. It produces more pollution by releasing dust from ballast. And finally, it has higher noise level than non ballastic track. The negative impact of the ballast on service life of the track has led to initial designs of ballastless track. A ballastless track or also called slab track is a type of railway track infra infrastructure in which the traditional elastic combinations of sleepers and ballast is replaced by a rigid construction of concrete or asphalt. In ballastless track, the rails are rigidly fastened to the special type of concrete sleepers that are themselves set in concrete. Ballastless tracks therefore offer a high consistency in track geometry, but adjustment of track geometry is not possible after the concreting of the superstructure. The elasticity of the ballast in traditional railway is provided by the stone aggregates, but in case of ballastless track, it is replaced by flexibility between either the rails and the concrete sleepers or between the sleepers and the concrete but concrete slab itself is inelastic. And there are several advantages of ballastless track over ballasted track. The first is that it is to large extent a maintenance free track. And this results in overall reduction in the maintenance cost of track. Increase in the capacity, capacity in terms of speed of the train, as well as in the axle load. And as I told you earlier, ballasted track has a limit of 250 km per hour of speed. But for high speed rail, ballastless track are very suitable. And there is no flying ballast at high speeds, which is the case with the ballasted track. But in spite of all the advantages, there are few disadvantages also with ballastless track. And the first is high investment cost means the initial cost of the construction is very high. But life cycle cost, when you consider the life cycle cost of the ballastless track, 
it is generally lower than that of elastic tag due to significantly lower maintenance cost. High noise em emissions because of presence of concrete slab, the noise level is high, high weight of the structure and that creates more pressure on the subgrade, high repair cost. Particularly in case of derailment, the damage to ballastless track is extremely heavy and that creates very heavy burden on the repair cost. There are different types of ballastless track assemblies which have been in use around the world. The first is plinth type. This is the plinth type assembly. It is a well proven design used in more than 10 metro train projects across the world. In India, this system has been used in Bangalore Metro and Nagpur Metro and probably in Jaipur Metro also. The features of this assembly, it has the rail here and below the rail, 6 mm thick elastic rail pad. Below that, a cast iron base plate for load distribution. Below that, an elastomeric pad of 12 mm thickness to function as ballast. Now, this provides elasticity to the track similar to what aggregate ballast provides in a ballasted track. Then below that a steel plate for vertical adjustment and then this concrete slab. All these fittings and fastening which consist of elastic rail clip, high tensile steel bolts, screwed into high density polythene inserts, triple coil spring washer, eccentric insulating washer and many other features. This can be implemented in elevated track, depots and tunnels and also in wire ducts. Second is Voslo 336. Here also important features are same as in case of print type assembly. Voslo 336 is a type of fastening system that is used for urban transportation. In this also you have a 6 mm thick elastic rail pad below the rail seat. Then you have malleable cast iron plate for load distribution and below that 10 mm thick elastic base plate and 5 mm thick plastic pad and that provides the elasticity in the track. And then you have fitting and fastenings, Voslo elastic rail clip and this clip looks like this. Now this is the Voslo 336 rail clip, high tensile steel anchors, cast in concrete, triple coil spring washer and accenting insulating washers for insulation and lateral adjustment. Next comes log well ballastless track assembly. Now this is made by log well forge limited which is based in Gurgaon, Haryana. Now the basic design is same only difference is of fastenings. Base plate is fastened here by six clips having a tow load of 900 to 1200 kg. Base plate pad 10 mm thick and plastic pad of 5 mm thick. So here also you have a rubber pad below rail seat and then you have this steel plate. Below that you have base plate and these are the clips. These are the fastenings which are designed by Logwell. The base plate is anchored to concrete by having a stronger fixing arrangement. This also has been used in urban metros in India. The next is slab track system for high speed railway. The slab track consists of pre-cast reinforced concrete slab over which the fastening devices and rails are fitted. The track slab is laid over the track bed concrete and a gap of 50 mm is created between them which is filled by pouring cement asphalt mortar in specially designed synthetic bags. This cement asphalt mortar is a buffer material for slab track which provides resilience to the whole structure. The concrete anchors prevent the slab track movement in longitudinal and transverse direction. Now this is the slab track structure which is being used on Mumbai Ahmedabad high speed rail project. There are few more ballastless track assemblies which are in use in different countries but the difference is only in the method of holding the rail with slab 
एंड इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ईज एंड कोस्ट सो फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट यू कैन राइट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स